Okay, a couple things about the female menstrual cycle. Uh, when you look at this uh, picture here, blue line represents estrogen, red line represents progesterone. This um, represents the menstrual um, cycle. Menstrual flow is not on this chart, okay? So what stimulates a lady to shed her uterine lining is the drop in estrogen and progesterone. So that is at the end of this graph here. You'll see the drop in the progesterone and estrogen. So this end of this picture here would be the shedding of her uterine lining. So her actual beginning of her menstrual flow. So the first day of her menstrual, her new menstrual cycle, her bleeding would occur, it would stop, and then boom, we're right back here at this picture, okay? At the same time that you see an increase in estrogen leading up to the day of ovulation during this next cycle, there is production uh, or FSH or an increase in FSH which um, stimulates the production of multiple follicles, um, but only one egg will mature and release. So right before um, ovulation, which occurs approximately 14 days prior to the beginning of the next menstrual um, cycle, you'll see a surge in luteinizing hormone, or LH, and a surge of estrogen, okay? Um, and then ovulation takes place so that follicle will rupture and release um, that mature egg. Right after that happens, you'll see a decrease in the LH and the FSH, and a decrease in estrogen. This follicle that ruptured and released that egg will then become a corpus luteum. If the egg is not fertilized, the corpus luteum degenerates and um, no longer produces, I'm sorry, then you'll see an increase in progesterone. This um, corpus luteum pr is what produces this uh, increased progesterone. If that egg is not fertilized, this corpus luteum degenerates and no longer produces that progesterone. Okay, see? It gets smaller, no longer produces it, and then that decrease in progesterone causes that lady to shed her uterine lining. If it is fertilized, this corpus luteum stays and it produces HCG, or a human chorionic gonad gonadotropin, and it maintains this corpus luteum, which maintains this progesterone production, so that drop in progesterone would not occur, so you would have an absent menstrual cycle or menstrual flow, which would cause the lady to suspect, oh, I missed my period, I may be pregnant, 